Hi, Cindy here and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making green goddess soup. It's easy to make, very delicious, and also very nutritious. So follow me. Here's our ingredients for our green goddess soup. There's a total of eight ingredients plus water. So starting from the very front and working back, the first row I've got vegetable bouillon. I use Rapunzel, but you can use any vegetable bouillon you want. And then next to that are cashews. The second row is my celery and I also have onion. The third row is green cauliflower. If you don't have green cauliflower, simply use white. And then zucchini. And then the last row is my spinach and we also will use a little bit of coconut oil. Once you've heated up your pan, you'll be putting in one tablespoon of coconut oil and then sauteing the celery and the onion. So I've already started that. I'm doing this on medium heat. That's the first step. And you'll cook this for about three minutes. After three minutes, you'll be adding your zucchini next. Stir it around a little bit. And then you're going to cook this for an additional two to three minutes. While the zucchini, celery, and onion is cooking, go ahead and measure out four cups of water. After adding your four cups of water, you'll add your vegetable bouillon. and your cauliflower. And then you'll be cooking this for an additional five minutes. Before we move on, I thought I'd show you what this looks like so far. You wanna make sure that the cauliflower is fairly cooked. So if you need a little bit more than five minutes, do so. Once the cauliflower is cooked, you'll be adding your last two ingredients. The last two ingredients that you add is the cashews as well as the spinach. And you'll, you'll stir it just a little bit and then allow it to simmer for about two to three minutes. Make sure the cover is on. Here's another shot of how the soup will look once you've added the cashews and the spinach. Once the soup is completely cooked, you want to take it off the burner and let it cool down for just a bit. The next thing we'll be doing is actually putting it in the blender to make it nice and creamy. Now that the soup is cooled down, you'll put it in your blender. You'll probably want to do two batches. It's going to be too much for one batch to put in. So you'll put half of it in your Blendtec blender or the other type of blender that you have. I've got a Blendtec and there's actually a setting for soups, so you'll want to use that setting. And you'll blend it only for maybe one, maybe two cycles. You want it nice and creamy. Okay, so I just got done blending my second batch, and it's going to make about six cups, so you've got plenty of soup, and it's nice and creamy. You usually don't even have to add any salt or pepper or anything like that because of the vegetable bouillon, but um, you get this really, really beautiful creamy green soup that I call my creamy green goddess. Enjoy.